This is Matt for Into Boxing. We're in the middle of the Thames. I'm just about to interview Ebony Jones. Ebony, huge fight card this weekend, special event, an all-female card. How proud are you to be on this card? It's a huge step for women's boxing. Yeah, it's massive. It's going to make history. I'm just happy to be part of it. Could you ever imagine when you started out on this journey that you'd be a part of these types of events? We've seen the likes of, obviously, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, main event in New York. We're now getting a long-time rivalry between Shields and Marshall at the O2, and you get to be a part of this. Could you ever have imagined all like this? Yeah, well, this is a fight I've been wanting to see for years, and um, to be on the undercard of it is, is great. Let's just quickly talk about that fight before we come on to yours. And I think I've asked you before, but where's your sort of heart lying with this? Who do you think comes out on top? Yeah, so I'm sort of sat on the fence now. At first I was saying, like, Savannah would catch her with a knockout punch, but we'll... Shields is an amazing fighter. Will she allow herself to be hit with that knockout punch sort of thing? So I think if it goes to points, I'm saying Shields. Point Shields. Oh. Do you think Savannah? Do you think Savannah has that punch that can take Shields yeah. out? Yeah, she does have that punch that could take her out. I think, but will she be able to land it clean? And I don't know. A lot of talk about her being pound for pound the hardest hitter in women's boxing. Do you think that's a fair statement? Looking at what she's done? No, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Come on to your fight then. Last time out very good performance um, are you looking to just build on that then for this one yeah definitely I feel like I've made improvements again yeah. from the last fight um, I just want to show it all really I mean I've in the gym I've been sharp I feel like the sharpest I've been so I just want to yeah. hopefully show that Saturday what's been different from the previous camps and you mentioned you feel the sharpest you've been is this just is this just something that's come with experience and time and stuff like that yeah obviously I had a long time out of the ring when I had my debut and then I feel like my style sort of coming into my own, um, more relaxed and yeah, just just better all around. What can we expect to see from you then? What's the variation? Are we gonna see some oh, you got a watch buddy there? Um, are we gonna see <laughs> are we gonna see something different from you this Saturday in comparison to what we've seen before? Um uh, yeah same same style obviously but um just just better with it. I feel yeah I feel like I'm just more more confident and each camp like all the work from each camp has yeah. come together. Does this feel like the norm for you now? You mentioned it since you turned over. Is this sort of becoming a bit more, was a bit more real for you? Yeah, obviously everything. Obviously, when you first when I had my debut, I went used to all the media stuff, and but you sort of it's just part of it now, and just take it all in and enjoy it all. All I ever wanted to be was on this platform. Many ways, to just take it all in. Yeah. Yeah. You, mean, you mentioned being on this platform, but your ambition must be to become world champion and hopefully one day headline like this. Is that something that you see in your sights the next couple of years? Yeah, definitely to be a world champion. Yeah, I feel like I could achieve that 100%. Is there any way in particular you want a headline or do things like have an event like this? Any any potential rivals that you see, just as we go over this massive wave? Yeah, it would be nice to fight in Portsmouth, obviously that's the city where I'm from, yeah. like, that would be really good. Um, I'd love that. They, get, they have good support back in there, I remember um, Mikey Mickinson and he's got, because it's a big naval town, they seem to get behind their own. So that's your ideal scene, sort of Fratton Park, that yeah. sort of end? Yeah, definitely, everyone loves their boxing in Portsmouth, uh, there's a lot of support. Yeah. What do you make of, let me ask you about the co-main event of this, what do you make of the back and forth between Mayor and Bongana? It's been pretty funny, right? Yeah. I was laughing and going through some of the reels last night, they're cracking me up. Yeah, I watched it all this morning, it's good, it definitely builds excitement for the fight. It's obviously the one I was looking forward to is Shields and Marshall, and now I'm looking forward to that too. What's, um, what's your take on that? Two, I suppose, different styles. Maybe people will say Michaela's had that seasoning, she's been in the likes with Hamadouche, etc. But um, Bongana's had that impressive win over Terry Harper. Um, where do you sort of see where the advantages are in that fight? Yeah, obviously she did have an impressive win over Terry Harper, but I do sort of, I'm sort of favouring more towards uh, Michaela. Oh, to be honest, I haven't watched loads of both of them. I'll yeah. be honest with you, I haven't, but I'm still looking forward to uh, fighting. Sometimes, like, with the boxing, I do watch a lot of fighters, but sometimes I just concentrate on myself. What, what, which fighters do you watch then, if you don't mind me asking? Or are you one of these who will sort of take yourself away from it completely if you're not fighting? Do you yeah. stick around or do you some oh, yeah. fighters you tune in for? I do, watch all, like, I do watch all the big fights and I do watch the fighters, but um, I just haven't watched much of them two, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, it should be. My, my favourite is Mike Tyson. No, I'll always watch him. Mike Tyson, he's your favourite. Yeah. Have you ever met him? No, I'd love to though. <laughs> I'd yeah. be really starstruck if I met him. Is he like the, the ultimate like sort of that'd be a big fangirl moment for yeah, you? Yeah, because I've actually like watched him since I was a little girl. Oh, yeah, so. since I was like twelve. So. Oh, I'm sure one day if you're in the States, you never know if yeah. you're bouncing around Vegas for a big fight week. He's always sort of in and around the area. Yeah, it's bound, bound to happen one day. Fingers crossed for you. Ebony, I appreciate you giving us some of your time. Thank you. 
I'm surprised I've lasted four minutes without falling over because I am going. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I was more concerned about the wasp, to be honest. I'm all right, I don't like wasps. <laughs> I'd, I'd take a full, a full set of wasps over this. Um, I appreciate your time and good luck for Saturday. We'll probably catch up on the night or a little bit before. Yeah, thank you. No problem.